Peace family, welcome back to the channel. This one I'm about to expose Chase Bank. A lot of these people in the uh, Western Hemisphere profited tremendously off of the global economy that was the enslavement of our ancestors. These people, governments, codify laws and ways in which they could basically take advantage of human flesh, mostly being our ancestors. Whether we was at home or they kidnapped us from Africa, this is what happened. But this this is an article, though, from a dude named David uh, Thatcher. It says, Wall, the Wall Street heavyweight said parts of the business accepted thousands of slaves as collateral on loans made to plantation owners uh, in the South and in the early 19th century. So this is important. They always try to play, you know, slavery as a, a Southern thing, like the North is just so righteous and slavery didn't take place. But they was passing fugitive slave laws as a nation and free people who weren't even fugitive slaves. And see, that's the thing. Right now, black people are criminalized. Back then, we were slave eyes, if you want to call it that. Every black that they seen was perpetually a slave. Every black person that they see now, basically, they have, oh, this man a criminal, or I need to be fearful of him. That's they complex. I don't really care about it, but that's just the way that they operate. So it wasn't a soft or north thing. Both the United States government was responsible and uh, harbored the institution of slavery. But in a sent letter to employees expressing uh, contrition for the involvement in a brutal and unjust institution, that's what they say now because it's not popular, it made the disclosure comply with uh, rules requiring companies to the de uh, detail past dealings with the trade when they are doing business within this uh, city of Chicago. Citizens Bank and Cano Bank in Louisiana, both now part of J.P. Morgan, served plantations from 1830 until the American Civil War, which ended in 1865. So 35 years. The bank sometimes took ownership of the slaves when plantation owners defaulted on loans because black people were viewed as property. 13,000 slaves as collateral ended up owning uh, about uh, 1,250 slaves. So they took in 13,000 slaves as collateral. But they own, because if, if it's collateral, basically, that's something to fall back on. So they were basically betting against, I mean, basically, uh, yeah, betting against it or whatever. You had these banks like the Lords of London, they was basically insuring slave ships. And now they're super rich. It's their foundation that they had came off of the labor of our ancestors. These people turned humans into collateral over here and basically cornered the market. In a letter signed by their chief executive, uh, William Harrison, the bank said we they said they apologized to the African-American community, particularly those who are descendants of slaves. It's only one African-American community and you have to be a descendant of a slave. That's the, the prerequisites. And the rest of the American public for the role Citizen Bank and Canal Bank played. The slavery era was tragic, was a tragic time in U.S. history and in our company's history. The bank posted documents about uh, the slaves that took ownership online and a unnamed individual or by first name owner, including Peggy Jacob, Big Joe, Lucille, Armistead, Monday, and uh, uh, Cl uh, Celestine. But yeah, Monday and Tuesday, all of those, well, those like West African naming traditions. You can find that amongst the Seminoles too with names like Kojo and all of these other different names. I don't know all of them. I know Kojo though. But every week, every day of the week had a name. And that's what people took. Now let's get into the knit and gritty. So Chase Bank just had a cargo ship found that had 20 tons of cocaine on it. Now, I just showed you how they basically got their money. Yes, they're lower-level banks, but they, they're they a part of their brand. They're a part of them. So if we're looking at this institution of them boys getting this these drugs into the United States, they trapping, Chase, Chase Bank trapping, that's 20 tons. So they shipping this in, and you already know what community it's going into. So this is genocide. 
they got caught, but this is something that they was doing. Man, if you got 20 tons of cocaine, that's something that you freely doing. So when you get caught, it's something very, very unexpected because you wouldn't be having 20 tons on it. Now, one thing I wanted to get into the end because I just showed you Chase had history of owning slaves. They're shipping cocaine in America. It says Chase uh, is done with private prisons. Do you know why they're saying Chase is done with private pr uh, prisons? It don't have nothing to do with the fact that they was owning slaves. Black people making up 42 percent of uh, incarcerated. It don't have nothing to do with none of that. They didn't have no moral uh, uh, objection to black people being over policed and in prison. Their objection coming, uh, their objection comes from the fact that now they have these uh, immigrants coming to the border. They're feeling pressure on that because they care about that. They don't care about stuff that happens to black people. I want to watch Chase then come out and say, man, we're giving a, a, a non interest financing to black people since we had your ancestors as slaves. Why are they not doing that? So this is what I'm saying. These people was profited off of slavery. They shipping drugs into the United States, which is genocide against our people because it's effect on our people. And it's also is genocide because they know that they're going to incarcerate us off of those drugs that they shipping into this country. And they had interest in the jails that our people would have been in. And the only reason they're in that interest is because of the immigrant crisis, not because of African-Americans. But it's another free black society presentation. Man, we got to go through all of these folks and find out how did they play a role in our downfall? I Man, you got all type of gazettes that was running slave ads. Who knows what these companies are uh, nowadays? So they was profiting off of slavery because people was taking out ads in the newspaper to catch their runaway slaves or to sell slaves and stuff. They was complicit in that behavior. But this Free Black Society presentation, peace.